Hey there, everyone. I am like so happy to have you here today. Not just like regular happy, extra happy and excited because there's a new series that just launched a Kickstarter and I want to talk to you about it. It's called D Spirits. And I'm in love with everything about it between the character design, the gameplay. I think it's really going to go somewhere. I can easily see it being a cartoon series. And I wouldn't normally do a video on something like this, but I definitely think this is worth mentioning and for you guys to check it out. Longtime viewers of the channel know I don't just like Pokemon cards. I like Digimon, I like Monster Rancher, I like Dragon Ball, all different types of cards. I even like 80s obscure cards, 90s obscure cards. So I'm so happy to start this video off with, you know, we're gonna go over a little bit of the online stuff in the Kickstarter. I have a box of stuff I'm gonna open. So let's get the show on the road. Okay, let's see if I can, you know, just play this right here. How cute is that? <laughs> hey, dummy. I love this guy. <laughs> well, it's about time. We've been waiting for you. Yep. Me and my friends know all about you. How cute is that? Who am I, you ask? I'm Nephil, and I'm a D spirit. But you can call us dope spirits. We're supernatural ghosts trapped within these cards and we need you to help set us free yeah so that's a little little summary there but yeah so the character design if we we're gonna head over to the instagram in a minute but i love that you know you can get in here you can pledge a hundred dollars and get a booster box and you know i'm personally doing the 230 so i get two booster boxes one to save one to open and then the two decks so i can actually play the game and yeah, so one thing I like is you have scary ones. You got, look, like, look at the personality this guy has. <laughs> That's my favorite thing about this. And then you have cute ones, like how adorable. You got this little mischievous fella. And this is the gal, I love this one. He's so cute, so cute, right? But yeah, you can watch this, watch this on YouTube if you wanted to, and that's gonna show you how to play. And I like how you have, you know, the three segregated decks. I think that's an interesting move there by the creator's part. I think that um, it's going to have a lot of playability in the real world. I can see this game being very successful. And uh, yeah, so this is going to give you a bit of a summary there. Yeah, so I like the difference between the Kickstarters and the finalized car. Oh, man, they, look, they both look good in my opinion. <laughs> Yeah, so th these are gorgeous cards. I'm really looking forward to seeing what the final print run looks like. But this this is going to be really cool. And I love, I just love the pack art. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but yeah, there's so many different fun monsters. Kickstarter dark rares. Oh, I love it. And then you get box toppers. Ooh. The two different decks. I love the name Damien. Turns out it means to tame, which is very fitting for a monster tamer series. That's the thousand dollar one. I wish I could jump in at the thousand dollar one. I can't right now, but I do not think that's a bad deal at all. But I wouldn't be surprised if I do wind up spending a thousand dollars on this series or more. I could see that happening. But yeah, it's just, there's a lot of personality here. I love the main character, Damien. I, I, I feel the personality, the Atlas bad guy here, Damien's rival. And I like that design too. Great, great. Look at that little guy. So good. Sam, see, I'm not familiar with like all the characters yet. So this is fun. Oh, I love Sam. Oh yeah. Chaz, Damien's best friend. Very nice. I gotta pay attention to where I'm scrolling. <laughs> Mama, love Mama. <laughs> I did see this briefly here. And then yes, ooh, the league champion. He's looking like he's gonna rough you up. Oh, I love Punch Bunny. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna let you guys look over a lot of this stuff. This is super cool. Agreed to design a D Spirits trading card. That's awesome. And then this is all created by Sterling Cartoons here. That's him there. 
And yeah, you can tell, yeah, Saturday morning cartoons. I am getting the Saturday morning cartoons vibe and I feel it could very strongly fit into like a modern Cartoon Network, you know, series there. I, I am feeling it a hundred percent. I love Embert. I love Embert. <laughs> oh, look at that froggy. That's so cute. Mooncap. Oh, I love Mooncap. I like all of them. I'm not going to lie. This one really blew me away. This one, I was like, look at that energy coming out of that. Oh, I love Hood Rat. <laughs> oh, they're all so cute. Yeah, there's just... Oh, I love this one. There's Pyrot. Pyrot, I think, is like my favorite. One of my favorites. But yeah, I just want to give you a little brief thing here before I go into it a little more. Yeah, I just have to say there is room for a new Monster Tamer series. That's just, it's checking all the boxes. I can see it appealing to the younger crowd for sure. Just being en entranced by these characters. And I could see, like, older people, like adults like me, like, really getting into it, too. Because, like I said, there's just so much personality. The game looks like it has depth to it. Um, you know, I watched the whole video. Like, I'm not going to play it now, but I watched the whole video of, like, a sample game. I could see this being, like, a good online game. Like, if we get somebody, like, Cartoon Network to jump in, like, I could see this, like, really being a good online gameplay series. Like, with the Pokemon training card game online. Like, I love playing that. I play it all the time. Um, I, I watched this sample video and I want to play it online now. Like I genuinely want to play this game. Yeah. One thing I, I definitely recommend you do today, even if you do nothing else regarding this is check out the D spirits, Instagram page, definitely follow that and check out some of these character designs. Let them know what your favorite one is too, you know, for just for reference, you know, comment on your favorite one. I, like I said, I feel like this is my favorite one. But I think that would be fun to do. I'm curious what you guys comment on. And like this, I love this guy too. <laughs> like a lot of these characters, like I said. Look at this guy. Big old cheeseburger. <laughs> it's fun though. It's like so fun. Like some of them are, are like more serious and more cute and more scary. And some of them are just like funny and comical. And oh, I love this guy. It reminds me of a game I played on the Wii years ago. Um, I can't think of it now. <laughs> Figures. <laughs> But yeah, the, the Instagram page has so much going on here. Like, so many good character designs. And I believe they are posting regularly. All sorts of things. But yeah, the Kickstarter, there's a link right there. I'm also going to put that in the description and as a pinned comment. And a pinned comment. <laughs> I can't talk. <laughs> but yeah, so I, I'm blown away. I... I think we could easily see this follower count get much higher. I know I have no followers on Instagram, but I'm trying, okay? I'm trying. <laughs> yeah, I only have a 500. I don't use it that much. That's fair. But, you know, definitely follow me on Instagram. I do, I do use it sometimes. Yeah, that was like a year ago over here. <sighs> I'm working on it. Oh, and there is Sterling Cartoon's page here too and I really love his work genuinely love every bit of it I would say he is worth a follow on his page as well here oh so good so good I'll let you look for yourself though yeah I just think it's time for a new series like this first of all made in America Atlanta Georgia I can't think of a good monster tamer series that was like started in America I feel like most of them are, are from like Japan so we got like monster rancher which you know that series kind of died off and never made a comeback although I feel like they thought about it Digimon which is like working towards making a comeback like I love the new cards and then you know Pokemon which you know never really went away since it's mega launch but uh yeah I can really I, I'm really feeling it. I want to know what you guys think in the comments. Do let me know. I'm into it, like I said. But uh, the creator, you know, I've been in touch with the creator. Uh, and he went ahead and sent me a little package so I could show off some of the stuff to you guys, which I'm super excited to open. I haven't opened it yet, so I'm going to do that now. I love packages. I'm like a kid on Christmas. <laughs> so, yes, thank you so, so much. I cannot wait to see what's in here and show you guys as well. 
This is like the first experience I'm having with the product. So you are seeing my first reaction. <laughs> oh my God, these are so cool. <laughs> It's got the little, oh my God. Oh, it's signed too, no way. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, he's so cute, he's so cute, I love him. <laughs> oh, yes, he came, listen, these plushies came out amazing. Oh, signed too, oh my God, yes. Oh my God, this is so cool. Oh, wow. Yeah, I love these so much. They are so cute. Uh, <laughs> I was just saying, like, Gao is, like, my favorite, cutest little guy. And I love, I just really love that his tail, like, moves and bends. Like, this is, like, really well done. Ooh, oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Oh, my God, I'm so excited. Okay. So the rest of the stuff that's in this box, I'll make sure I got everything out of here. Okay. <laughs> oh, I love that he signed it too. That means so much to me. I love that this is all signed. So, so happy about this. So I have the starter decks here. Super, super cool. And then we have <gasps> actual packs. I get to open actual packs. Ah! <laughs> Oh my God, sign packs and everything. <gasps> oh, I can't open all, I gotta leave the sign. Ooh, ooh, <laughs> I'm a mess. Huh? <laughs> yeah, so I think I'm gonna save these two just cause this is like way, this is way too cool, but I gotta get my hands on these cards. So like I have to open some first edition. Wow. Okay, so let's get a look at this here. So it looks like they're all the same, yeah, all the same pack art for now. Oh my goodness. This is so cool. Okay, let's see how this opens. Yeah, I'm not sure if they're gonna be like the same style of pack for the final print run. Okay. And one thing I do want to say that I noticed in the videos is that I actually really, really like the back of the cards. I know that's like such a silly thing to think about because a lot of times when you're playing, right, they're going to be in sleeves, but like, I do like the back of the cards. <laughs> oh, yeah. So this is the first, first edition. Oh my goodness. Bag, oh, that's so cute. I don't normally do card openings like this, but why not, right? <laughs> so that's some new lip. <laughs> that's so fun. Oh, this is so cool. So we got a waffle flop. <laughs> He's cute. He's all syrupy. Hmm. A monster you can eat. Dust mite. Oh, he's fun. And I love like the abilities that these things have. Oh, we got a chickadee, he's so cute. Oh, they're just so cute. Oh, this is cool. Kananji Undead Spirit. Ooh. Oh, I love Duckling. <laughs> Bullmite, I definitely like Bullmite. Ooh, okay, so we got a Hopeful Summon. I gotta say, this is pretty good cardstock it's on, too. It's like good quality. Hopeful Summon. Spirit again. Ooh, and then we have a rare. We got a Kraken. Ooh. Ooh, I like that. I like all these. But yeah, there's definitely a difference between the initial print run and then what looks like it's gonna be the finalized style of card. Which makes these like super special. I love them. <laughs> oh, I gotta open one more. I gotta open one more. You guys know me, I'm a pack opening junkie. 
I want to mess up the pack when I open it. I don't want to like, because I want to save these. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, look at a little dumpling. Oh, it's a little baby. Oh, look at a little diaper butt. Oh, I love it. <laughs> oh, we got a, a blank inanimate spirit. Oh, oh, that one's fun. Gekon. Oh, that's fun. Harpy Juku. Oh, that's a, I like that design there. Ooh. Oh, this, I love this one. This is, this is the one I was talking about that was from like the, um, the Wii game that I can't think of, but I love it. This, this design's so good. Oh, we got a big shark coming at you. He's angry, but still kind of cute. Oh, Blizzard. Oh, this one makes so much sense. Blizzard, why has nobody thought of this? A freezing lizard. Like, <laughs> I I love this design. I'm surprised, like, nobody's thought to do this before. It just makes sense, right? Blizzard, lizard. <laughs> oh, this guy's like my favorite. The sauce tan one. Sauce tan, I'm not... I'm gonna have to figure out how to say that properly, but I love this guy. I'm so happy I just pulled this card. I love this guy. And then we have Negate and Destroy. Desperate Measures. Oh, I got the Gargoyle. Oh, I'm so happy about that. I love him too. Ooh, I got two good hollows here. So the Kraken's fun. I have not seen this one yet, but that's super cool. And this guy's like, he's one of the coolest looking ones, I think. Like, really good design there. I don't know, I just put it in a matte sleeve so you're not going to see the hull. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah. I'm in love. I love this. It's a nice hollow pattern on it. It works with the card. You know, some, some hollow patterns might not work with some cards, but I'm going to be interested in seeing how this game, you know, evolves, you know, how many different hollow patterns it might wind up having, different card types. So it's, it's, I feel like there's a, a lot that can be done here. I'm really excited. I'm so excited I got to open packs. I didn't even expect that when I opened the box. These plushies are so cute and good. Oh my goodness. I'm like over the moon right now. I'm so glad I got to share this with you guys. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, I just went ahead and opened up the starter decks too a little bit here. So we have, you know, like the sealed cards in here. I haven't opened those up yet. But yeah, I love the, the hollows that come with them. Oh my goodness. Look at that Gao. I love Gao. I love, I love Ganger too, but Gao's so cute. Like, such a, like, a perfect mascot. I don't think I've really, like, talked about it too much, but I'm actually redoing the studio. I gotta get these guys up there. But I'm moving into another room, so I got a little reorganizing, remodeling to do. I'm looking forward to it, but uh, I wanna put, I wanna put them on my shelves. They're so cute. <laughs> <laughs> so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making it. I'm looking forward to the future of D Spirits. Maybe you are too. Let me know what you think. Check out those links. I'll see you guys soon. Bye for now and take care. Yeah, so quick update to the video here. Uh, it's uh, two days since I filmed that and uh, look at how fast that goal was hit. Most of the backers are around the $1,000 mark. It's super exciting. I'm clearly not the only person who believes this is a great thing, that the animation is spectacular. So yeah, I think you guys should jump in on this. Grab yourself a box. I'm looking forward to opening it up with you guys.